New tonight, key testimony in the Deborah Baker murder trial coming from the man who performed her autopsy 30 years ago. Dr. Roberto Bayardo described the gruesome details of the death of the young Austin mother beaten in her own bed. Hello, I'm Robert Hadlock. Shannon Wolfson has the night off. Mark Norwood stands accused of killing Deborah Baker in 1988. He is already serving a life sentence for the murder of another woman two years before Baker. As Travis County's former chief medical examiner, Bayardo's testimony could be crucial in proving Norwood's guilt and giving a grieving family closure. But in a KXAN investigation last month, Bayardo admitted to our Josh Hinkle he's forgetting key details of some high-profile cases and must now rely solely on the autopsy report in trials. How do you look at a report but not remember what you said back then and be able to give accurate statements? Well, I won't be able to do that. So you shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't be used in these cases as they're coming back up? I don't use anything. I'm just being asked to go and testify, and I do the testifying. So it's up to them to, uh, to realize those things. But as we saw today, prosecutors are still using this longtime medical examiner to build their case. Even after KXAN informed the Travis County DA's office about Bayardo's admission. Our Leslie Rangel was at the courthouse today for his testimony. Through those injuries, I could feel that the uh, skull had been crushed. Dr. Roberto Vallardo, the former Travis County medical examiner, now 80 years old, testifying in another murder trial. There were a few other uh, small bruises. Decades have passed since he examined the body of Deborah Baker. Details he admitted to us a year ago could be fading. Well, I'm getting too old. My memory has faded a lot, so... I don't have no recollection of all cases. Today, details about the death did not seem to be a problem. That's a cut caused by uh, impacting the lip against the uh, upper teeth. Only when the defense asked what year he began working with Travis County. Uh, yes, yes. We spoke to Dr. Bayardo after he finished testifying. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? No, no, no. He walked away, but not before we could ask him this. Are you confident that you were able to remember things accurately from that year? Uh, I believe so. Now, after testifying, we talked to both the prosecution and the defense. Assistant District Attorney Allison Wetzel told us in part, quote, We had no concerns about Dr. Bayardo's memory when he testified. His observations were supported by his photos in his report. Brad Urrutia, an attorney for Mark Norwood, told us, quote, In this particular instance, we weren't going to argue with manner or means of death. Should he have talked about time of death or speculation, then we would have had an issue with it. Robert. Thanks, Leslie. A okay. An investigation first revealed by Ardo has also changed his testimony in some of the most high-profile murder cases. It led some to wonder whether his work wrongfully sent people to prison and helped the real killers roam free. We reveal the massive number of autopsies he performed over his three decades as Travis County's chief medical examiner. It far exceeds the current national standard, and experts say it could have led to rushed procedures and possible missteps. We also discovered money might have been his motive as he raked in about $2.6 million extra in pay by performing autopsies for more than 40 other counties without their own medical examiners.